Here we are in the cathedral with hundreds of school children who have been singing for the King, for King Charles, on the day before his coronation. And that's been great. And I've just come from Willen Hall in the heart of the Black Country, where the children there have been singing again for the King. It's very clear that this weekend is going to be a great and cheerful day of community celebration. But it's also a profoundly and deeply moving event, I think. It speaks to me of two things. It's a deeply Christian message about the King's commitment to serve his people in so many ways. This is a huge responsibility that our King takes upon himself to be the servant of his people as Jesus was the servant of all people. And we need to pray for King Charles as he takes that burden joyfully upon himself. And it also speaks of his desire to reach out. It is a very Christian service and it is a service that reaches out to people of all faiths and indeed I hope that people of all political beliefs, those with no faith, people in every part of the country will be able to see themselves reflected in this coronation which is for all of us as we come together as a nation with our King.